If you're here today, you're probably wondering how to create your very own Facebook business page. And trust me, you've come to the right place. Whether you're launching a service-based business, an online shop, or any type of business, creating a Facebook page can really boost your online presence and help you reach more potential customers. In this ultimate guide, I'm going to show you how to set up your page from start to finish, no prior experience needed. It's really easy, and I'll walk you through every step. First things first, before you can create a Facebook business page, you need a Facebook account. If you don't have one, go ahead and sign up. Facebook accounts are free, and it's super easy to create one. Just make sure it's your personal Facebook account because your business page will be linked to that. Once you've logged in, let's get ready to create your business page. Facebook frequently updates its layout, so things might look a little different each time you log in. But don't worry, I'll guide you through the whole process and I'll make sure it's as simple as possible. Once you're logged into Facebook, click on that, and a drop-down menu will appear. Here, you'll see a list of options like home, friends, groups, events, ads, pages, and so on. Click on the Pages option. This is where all the magic happens. You can see all the pages you've created, as well as pages you follow or manage. Right now, we're interested in creating a new one. Now that you're in the Pages section, you should see a button at the top that says Create New Page. Click on that button, and this is where you begin the process of building your page from scratch. You'll have the opportunity to input the name of your business, pick a category, and start filling in important details. Now, the exciting part. Picking the name for your business page. You'll want to choose something that clearly communicates what your business is about and is easy for people to search for and remember. For example, if you run a fitness studio, names like Fit and Fab or Powerhouse Fitness could work well. Think about what will connect with your target audience and make it easy for them to find you. Once you've picked a name, it's time to choose a category. This helps Facebook understand your business better and ensures it shows up when people search for similar services. Facebook may suggest a category based on your name, but you can always search for one yourself. For a fitness studio, you'd likely choose fitness center or health and wellness. If your business is different, select the category that best represents what you offer. All right, now it's time to dive into the details about your business. You'll need to add some key information that helps people know exactly how to get in touch with you and when they can expect your services. Start by sharing your hours. This helps potential customers know when you're open and available. If your hours are flexible or vary, just give an idea of when you're usually around and make sure it's clear so they're not confused. If you have a physical location, it's important to add your address so people can find you easily. Whether you have a storefront or a fitness studio, having a clear address listed helps potential customers plan their visits. And if you're running a business where people might want to reach out directly, make sure to include a phone number. This is especially helpful if you offer services like booking classes, answering questions, or anything else that people might need to contact you for. Along with a phone number, it's also a good idea to include an email address. Whether it's for customer service or just general inquiries, this gives people another way to reach out. If you've got a website, definitely add the link as well. It's a great way to direct people to more information about your business, like pricing, services, or any special offers you might have. By adding all these details, your page will feel more complete and professional, and it will be much easier for potential clients to find you, contact you, and learn more about what you offer. It might seem like small stuff, 
But these details can make a big difference in how people perceive your business and whether they reach out to you. Next, you'll be asked to upload a profile picture. This image will represent your business on Facebook, appearing next to your page name in posts, comments, and messages. Make sure your profile picture is something recognizable and professional. If you have a business logo, use that. If not, choose a high-quality image that best represents your business. For a fitness studio, you might want to use a dynamic shot of a workout session, a clean photo of your gym space, or even an action-packed image of a personal trainer working with clients. If you don't have a logo or specific image yet, that's totally okay. Just pick a clear, high-quality image of your services or facilities. You can always update it later, so don't worry too much. The cover photo is another important part of your business page. It's the large photo that appears at the top of your page. It's like the billboard of your page, and it gives you a chance to showcase your brand's personality. For your fitness studio, the cover photo could be an energetic shot of your gym in action, maybe a group fitness class in motion, a personal trainer working with a client, or a close-up of fitness equipment. You have plenty of creative freedom here, so choose something that reflects the vibe and energy of your studio, helping to attract your ideal customers. When selecting your cover photo, keep in mind that the ideal dimensions are 820 by 312 pixels. If you upload a photo that's too big or too small, Facebook will automatically resize it, which can sometimes cause the photo to look distorted. Once you've selected the right image, go ahead and upload it. And remember, you can always swap it out whenever you want. Facebook lets you add a customizable action button to your page. This button is like a call to action that encourages people to engage with your business in a way that makes sense for you. For a fitness studio, you might want to choose an action button like Book Now which can link directly to your class booking system or website. This makes it easy for potential clients to sign up for classes or schedule personal training sessions. Alternatively, you could opt for call now if you prefer people to contact you directly to ask questions, get more information, or make bookings over the phone. Having a clear action button helps guide your potential clients and makes it easier for them to engage with your business. The action button is super easy to set up. You can choose from a variety of actions such as book now, contact us, shop now, or send message. This button will appear at the top of your page, right beneath your profile picture, so it's one of the first things visitors will see when they land on your page. Once you fill in all details, just hit Create Page button. The About section is key to giving people a clear idea of what your business is all about. It's your chance to introduce your brand and make a great first impression. For a fitness studio, you might write something like, We're a community-focused fitness studio dedicated to helping you reach your full potential. Whether you're looking for high-energy group classes or personalized one-on-one -on -one training, we offer a supportive environment to help you stay motivated and achieve your fitness goals. Come join us and get stronger, together. Keep your description concise but inviting. You'll also have a chance to fill in other details like your mission, company overview, and other key info that helps people learn more about your business. Once you've set up your page and filled in all the essential details, it's time to start building your audience. You can invite your Facebook friends to like your page, which is a great first step to get things going. If you have a mailing list or a website, you can also share the link to your Facebook page with your existing customers to drive traffic. A great idea is to post a welcome message introducing your fitness studio to everyone. This will help establish your business's identity and give people a reason to follow your page. Once your page is live, you might want to get more people to see it. 
That's where Facebook ads come in. Running ads is a great way to get more visibility for your business and reach new customers. If you've never run ads before, don't worry. It's not as hard as it sounds. To run ads, head to the Ad Center on the left-hand menu of your page. From there, you can create your ads, set your budget, choose your target audience, and decide where your ad will appear. You can target people based on location, interests, age, gender, and even their previous interactions with your page. It's important to set a clear goal for your ad, whether that's driving more signups for your fitness classes, increasing awareness of your studio, or promoting a special offer. Once everything's set up, your ad will go live, and you can start monitoring its performance to see how it's helping you reach your goals. Keep an eye on the results and make adjustments as needed to get the best outcome. After your page is live and you start posting regularly, you'll want to keep an eye on how things are going. Facebook provides a powerful analytics tool called Insights. This tool gives you data on how your page is performing, how many people are liking, commenting on, and sharing your posts, as well as how many people are visiting your page and clicking on your action buttons. You can use this data to tweak your content strategy and see which posts are performing the best. For example, if you notice that posts showcasing new products get more engagement, try posting about new arrivals more frequently. Now that your page is up and running, it's time to keep the momentum going. Post regularly to stay top of mind with your audience. Share updates on new classes, special offers, fitness tips, or even behind-the-scenes looks at your workouts and training sessions. Engagement is key, too. Respond to comments, answer any questions, and thank your followers for their support. Building a community around your fitness studio will help keep your current members loyal and encourage new people to join in. Keep the conversation going and make sure your followers feel connected to your brand.